started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the physical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient now in this? Uh, ma'am, this patient, since it's um, uh, critical, um, this patient is uh, critically ill, he's having fever. I would manage this patient as per the CRISP uh, protocol. So, um, I'll start from the airway and um, see if his airway is uh, patent. Yes. If, the, if um, the patient is talking, the airway is patent and will uh, we'll move to breathing then. If uh, for, for breathing, I'll check his respiratory rate. We'll check his um, oxygen saturation level. Um, since this patient is having difficulty in breathing, I'll provide him with an oxygen mask. And also we'll check or we'll look for the uh, symmetrical chest movements and uh, in the breathing, it's look, uh, listen, and feel. So in look, I'll be uh, looking at the chest movements if they are symmetrical. Uh, for listening, I'll auscultate his chest to uh, see if there are any um, uh, crackles or coarse uh, crackles or any crepitations or any um, added uh, respiratory uh, sounds. Uh, apart from that, in like uh, in the breathing. Um, We'll give him 100% um, oxygen because there is no um, contraindication oxygen? mentioned. Yes. yes. Uh, How much oxygen? Is so oxygen, ma'am. Uh, oxygen is uh, it should be 10 uh, liters per minute. Oxygen via a non-breathing uh, mask, or you can even provide with a oxygen cannula, a nasal cannula, or by a mask. Okay. So uh, e yes, e Since either the of the two. Sorry, uh, since the patient was having breathing difficulty, you asked for an immediate AVG, and this is what you got. How would you interpret patient's AVGs, arterial pressure? So, uh, uh, ma'am, AVGs, uh, they show uh, metabolic acidosis, okay. reason being his pH is low, which is acidotic, and also his bicarbonate is below uh, normal. Uh, there is a little compensatory effect of PCO2, uh, okay. very um, less compensation. So um, this is just a compensatory response, but the pH is not uh, returned back to normal. So I would call it an uncompensated metabolic acidosis for now. All right. What are the contributing factors to these uh, ABG results? What has happened? So, so uh, ma'am, this... This patient is, uh, he seems to be in sepsis. Uh, this patient had a surgery five days ago. So yes. um, I suspect him to have a uh, um, anatomic leak okay. uh, majorly. So this acidosis is primarily because of the, the sepsis that the patient is having. It could be because of uh, dehydration as well. Okay. Right. How would you confirm because, your, uh, maybe. Uh, how would you confirm your differential diagnosis? Is there any criteria that you uh, consider? Ma'am, that... um, oh. ma if I'm just uh, thinking about um, an estomotic leak, I would go for a, a CT scan. But before that, I would like to have blood tests. Uh, okay. Like a... Yes. Full blood count to see the lipocytosis. Would like to check. Can you tell me about the check his metabolic profile? Yes. Sears factors. 
SIRS. So SIRS, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, yes. is uh, where we have a few criteria. Uh, the pulse is either pulse is more than ninety beats per minute. WBCs less. Is it your network? Is then four thousand or more than eleven thousand? Okay. Uh, respirate. Criteria number three: number the W P L C or at the band, uh, um, immature okay. band cells, which okay. is also known as a left shift or bendemia. Altered mental status. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hello. Yes, yes. Now I can hear you because in the middle you your network was disturbing. You were disappearing. Hello. Yes. Is Hello, there? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you please tell me how would you manage you hear or me now? take? Yes, please. How would you manage or take care of patients' uh, infection or sepsis? In other words, how would you manage? So, ma'am, the the sepsis, uh, we have to give him, provide him a circulatory support and a respiratory support. For circulatory support, we have to see if the patient is hypotensive. Uh, I'll provide him with uh, inotropic support, also with IV fluids, but we have to make sure that we do not overload the patient with fluids. So for that, I would also like to have a central venous um, access to monitor his response to IV fluids. Um, okay. Other than that, for the respiratory support, if the patient needs um, invasive or non-invasive ventilation, like this patient is having difficulty in breathing, if this patient... Um, has high respiratory rate like he gets tachypneic i would give him a cpap to okay. that would be non-invasive ventilation but god forbid he collapses then we can uh, put him on a ventilator and provide invasive uh, ventilation uh, for renal uh, support we have to make sure that the urine output is more than 0.5 ml per kg per hour uh, for that we have to give continued iv fluids support along with um, inotropic support because uh, even the renal um, Do dopamine that we give in sepsis that has renal arteriolar dilator effect basically so it increases renal perfusion as well uh, then for um, we also give antibiotics according to the cultures uh, if the cultures are available when the cultures are available the cul when the cultures are not there till then we give uh, broad spectrum um, antibiotics empirically uh, dvt prophylaxis would also okay. be there And along with that, we also have to provide nutrition support. Enteral nutrition is better than parenteral. Okay. So uh, what maybe is, a NG feed or what is the so, most common organisms which cause uh, sepsis in this condition or can cause? Uh, ma'am, um, gut uh, talk uh, gut uh, commensals like um, E. coli and um, staph. Uh, most like E. coli. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you tell me once you are considering uh, a metabolic acidosis, how would it affect, or what ions uh, it will affect, or how it would be, uh, how it could be lethal? What other measures you should keep? Uh, uh, metabolic acidosis. Uh, Ma'am, if metabolic acidosis worsens, uh, there would be the patient would wash out more carbon dioxide, and okay. then um, he'll he'll have this What about the um, respiration level with metabolic acidosis. I think there is hyperkalemia. Yeah. Yes. How would you correct that? hyperkalemia? Yeah. Yes. So hyperkalemia, ma'am, we have to uh, give uh, we have to have a cardiac monitoring attached. We have to give calcium gluconate immediately yes. to reverse to because it is cardioprotective. How Apart much? Apart from that, we have to give a ten mg of calcium gluconate over ten uh, to twenty minutes. Yes. And uh, other than that, we have to give insulin in sodium bicarbonate solution, yes. regular insulin because insulin pushes the potassium inside the cell. uh and we can give um there's another thing i cannot recall the name that we give um correctly that's some chelating agent um mam i can't sorry can't recall okay. the name the last result is hemodialysis yes ma'am okay good 
uh, out of those factors of seeds, how many were positive for this? How many are positive for this patient? So this patient has fever, tachycardia, two, three. Three um, factors are there. Uh, we do not have the blood tests report, so I cannot comment here. Three. Clinically, three parameters uh, you have four, all four, because ABDs are kind of giving you an indication. Uh, the hint, right, right, yeah. right. And four. fever is there, so you know, and tachycardia is there, so that means infection is there. So all four of them are positive. They want right, you to consider right. that all four of them are positive. Good, very good. Thank you.